The United Nations three decades of drum and bass charts the birth of the drum and bass scene and what really went on behind the scenes. I'm Rosie Ryer and I'm here on behalf of Data Transmission at the beautiful Troxy Theatre in London for the world premiere of this amazing documentary film. Did you have any idea you were gonna, it was going to be as exciting as it has been, as, as, as big as it's become? No, I, I literally, every year I thought oh, we've only got another year and that would be it. But really? it just kept on and on and on and it just yeah, kept going. Kept so going. It, was, it was fantastic. So really you good made to, history. Uh, what, back then? Yeah. No, I mean, no one did. No one thought about that. But I mean, look at the, look at the raves that One Nation had thousands of people, do you know what I mean? Uh, well, considering I'm like the first MC ever to MC at any event, it's a, it's a miracle. It's been going on a long time, you know. Like, like, you know, yeah, they had, um, like, Blue Note and places like that. Yeah. Uh, little clubs like that, they used to do drum and bass, select crowd. It was really nice. Well, it's a cosmopolitan crowd. So it was always going to go further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it wasn't stuck in one sort of, you know, corner. Yeah, yeah. How it was going to change, no one knew. But then you had, like, um, jungle techno, hardcore, jungle drum and bass but to me it's all the same to me it's all jungle to me hello you are undoubtedly one of the legends of, of drum and bass i remember seeing you at mass in brixton oh couple of, remember, couple of years ago yeah yeah a few years ago like the roller coaster do you remember that yep i do indeed yeah. uh it was in the there was one down the stairs but then they had the main arena as well didn't yeah, they yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to go there every Friday. I think. That was how many years ago was that? 15, 18 years, so something like that. <laughs> How's it feel to have created this film? Well, it's because pretty cool. I mean, it's yeah. um, it's a look back over the last sort of three decades, and uh, you know, when I started off, I, I never knew how big it was going to become, and, and I think you know the way the drum and bass scene has evolved, and it's now like this worldwide phenomenon is is fantastic. Uh, yeah. so. How's it feel to be part of drum and bass history? I mean, to think about how long we've been doing this thing, and you know, I had the shop nearly for 25 years, and it's crazy that it's obviously it's gone on a, you know it's like a tree really it's like a tree with different branches and it's all and it's still stemming off you know so it's great to be part of this great to still be part of this and it's it, it's it's a whole generation so it's, it's two three generations very proud it's British music at its best um, you know the majors ignored us for a long long time uh, it was a culture back then how we started it and um, it's just great to be a part of it to be ambassador for it and also what's happening now you know 2020 it's still relevant we're still at you know doing the radio making records playing records still going strong isn't it yeah i mean it's not it, it just evolved do you know what i mean and there's still about 15 or 20 of us from the old days that are still here and still doing what we love so it's, it's really important yeah amazing. amazing i tell you like usually we're the oldest nowadays but like when you come here now we're the youngest and it's happy to be a part of this you know yeah. just this whole movement well you know the, the great thing is a lot of the DJs, MCs, producers, they all start, we all start at the same time. So we was all together and, you know, I come out of it in 2003 and it's all going on now. And I was like, look back on it and it's funny because I was ringing everybody up saying, oh, I want to have a chat to you. And, um, you know, was I want to do this documentary and then I was just like, we'll be up for it. So we sort of went from, you know, from, you know, just doing nothing to it just going through the roof. So it's, it's been really exciting. You know what, in the last like five years, I've had lots of people, there's been a lot of dance documentaries um, but this is the one that I felt was like genuine in the core of our scene do you know what I mean the drum and bass and, and a part of I mean I was there uh, not at the very, very beginning of One Nation but during the journey of One Nation so to, and, and also to be asked to do the music for it so it was like it was nice it, was, it must be, feel quite emotional being at something like this like, it, it's so exciting I mean it's uh, like you know red carpet and for, for our thing it's it's wonderful but it's it, it's I'm chuffed yeah I'm very I'm very tough. Have you got any like, stand out memories from your days? Do you stand out in particular rates that you remember and go down in history? Well, there's a lot of them. Too many to mention. Whenever Terry put a party on, put it this way, the atmosphere was second to none. And it was a quality event as well. We used to provide great value for money. The customers would love it. He always looked after them. One of the best promoters you're ever going to come across, really.
Wow, what an amazing night. I met loads of legends of drum and bass and jungle and I thoroughly enjoyed the film. There was loads of behind the scenes footage from back in the day. A really, really interesting documentary. I recommend it. I've been Rosie Riot. Big thanks for Data Transmission and United Nation Three Decades of Drum and Bass for having me. See you next time.